the jungle is a, is a supermarket full of weird and wonderful things. Things that'll make you, things that can feed you, things that'll make you well if you feel unwell, and things that'll make you pretty unwell if you're not careful. But the jungle supermarket doesn't have any barcodes and doesn't have any price tags. But I do have with me today my credit card for the jungle supermarket. And I'm ready to swipe. Val has a surprise for me today, and I can't wait to see what that is. No, I just see a mushroom here. Oh, this is the non-edible one. Okay. How, how is it non-edible? You can see the star, I call the colors that I have, mostly white mushroom. Right. Uh, and then you can see at the edge, they always have a very bright, uh, I call light compared to the inner part. Okay, so this type? Mm. This type is poisonous. Right. But it was used as a medicine. Yeah. yeah, I've been used for medicines, but, but not consumable anyway. No. Okay, okay. So it's usable for medicine. Yeah. Okay. So there is a type that they do have the, what I call the sprout out, and then you can see they always have the, it's like a, a segment in between the also poisonous one, yeah. So the people right. don't eat, our generation don't eat this. Because yeah. I see a few other mushrooms here as well. Yeah. But this is, looks to be the nicest looking one, but it's yeah. the most poisonous. Yes, one okay. of it. That's yeah. something to remember? Yeah. So which one can I eat? There must be edible ones yeah. here. There are a few of them around. Yeah. Oh. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. Woohoo! Sini, sini, sini. Oh. Ah, yang ini. Dia boleh. Kan dia yang tadi itu sama dengan yang ini. Hmm, sebaka. But you touch and then you touch this one is totally different. Yeah. So that's a completely different feel to it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this we call it kulat bulu. Yeah. Okay. You can see they always, uh, what I call, uh, they are segar di waktu pagi. Yep. Ya, suatu lah bila orang nak cari itu kulat ni selalu waktu pagi. Yes. Nah, so dia masih kembang lagi. Segar dia. Wow. So the 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 the, the more attractive looking one is actually the dangerous one. Yes. Betul? Betul. That's a lesson yeah for everyone. <laughs> wow. Superb. And and there must be some use for that one as well. Somebody yeah, it's for skin disease. No, so it's, uh, it's yeah. medicinal. Yeah, medicinal. For but skin not edible. This not edible. Have to cook first? Yes, because if not, it will be very tough. Okay. Like leather. Okay. All right. Yeah, not nice to eat leather. Yes. <laughs> so Val, for, for people going camping and they see mushrooms here and there, so you, this is your advice? I mean, how, how would you, the, the, the ones that are most beautiful looking, and that you showed before the distinctive whiteness yep. and, the, and the outer the rim, outer ring, yeah. the outer ring was, was so brightly white. Mm. But this one here that looks um, not as nice is obviously the better one. Yeah. So how do we harvest this thing? Are you just oh, pluck just, it? Yeah, you just pluck it yeah, yeah. with your hand like this. Mm. Right, mm. all right, let's collect some. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what are these red ants here, man? Uh, I call it the, uh, the red ant that we... It was consumable red ant. No, consumable? No, yes. Oh, that's great, because I don't like them. Uh -huh. They're my enemy. Your enemy, no problem, because once you're hungry, <laughs> you lost your way in the jungle, so you need to have something so to eat. So you can eat those red yes. ants as well. But of course, Amazing. the taste will be very sour. Right. And uh, my, our generation, my great-grandparents used to collect it, they will get the, what I call it, uh, collecting the nest, then they will, uh, what I call, cut it off, then they just throw it inside the, the pail of water. Then you can see all floating. Then they just collect and put inside the bamboo with the, with the, uh, the white egg together. Wow. Then they put salt and then just burn it on fire. Uh, whenever we return back from school, 
we just go to our cooking place, take it out, then put on the rice, then we eat. Wow. Uh, so it's usually a lot of logs that have been felled uh, or have fallen and rotten. Yeah. Where these where these uh, the mushroom mushrooms is. grow. Yeah. The yeah. Mushroom uh, normally will grow on the on the dead uh, wood, yeah, dead wood yeah. or dead bamboo, normally. Yeah. They're always growing on that type, but depend on the on on the type of the trees, type of the plant. Not every trees they will they okay. will grow on it. Yeah, only certain type. Yeah. Okay, amazing. This one you can harvest it. You can see how it looks like. You can feel it. Yeah. Amazing. Oh yeah, it's just amazing texture. It's like you're holding your ears like that. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's got a double skin. Yeah. Straight away, Bole. Uh, normally we normally masak dulu. <laughs> Is it name for this one? Yeah. Name? Uh, uh, kurat kabir. Kurat kabir. Yeah, because it's just like uh, you know this jelly that's like shaking, moving like that. Yeah, okay. So kabir means yes, kabir. This this kind of kabir means just hanging softly, uh, hanging. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What? Take this home, eh? Yes, take home. We'll collect more later. Yeah. <laughs> Budak-budak sekarang ni dia mana ada mana dia mau belajar tu dia kena tahu dia kena tahu uh, kulat mana yang dapat dimakan yang tak dapat dimakan. Hmm. Kalau tahu dia orang pergi camping ke oh nampak cantik collect saja dia just collect and then cook it then they will what I call uh, poisonous themselves. Yeah. Ui. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Important message. Yeah. Bell, bell. Looks like Tarzan's rope. Yeah, itu itu akar kayu tu. Untuk itu yang paling kuat punya. So pakai, you can use as a rope. Pakai untuk ikat, hmm. ikat wow. ke bergayut ke. Ya. Wow, fantastic. Ya, ada, ya, ada yang sudah tua, yang cukup sudah matang. Ada yang lagi kecil, anak dia. Okay. Kalau kita mau yang kuat betul-betul kuat, mesti buat ambil yang matang. Okay. Kalau yang tidak kuat, lo biasa untuk untuk uh, instant use untuk terus pakai ambil yang kecil lah. Oh, so the small uh, one can be used straight away. Yes. The big one you the need, big need one, to do, do things to it. Yes, need to rip it up, open, buka, tarik satu persatu. So you pull the fibers out. Yes. Wow. Lepas tu baru wow. buat wow. tali. Wow. 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 Tapi kena rendam dulu lah untuk untuk supaya supaya dia lembut. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kalau so dia yeah. keras. Perfect. Woohoo. Wow. So we're taking the big one? Yeah. We're taking the big one? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Can I try? Try okay. my small, small parang? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Leave this. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Here we are. And I'll, I'll leave these, these yes. small guys alone. Yeah, for next. So they can grow for next time. Sustainability here. Yes. Wow. Kecil tapi tajam. Ya betul juga. So how do I? This, ah. is, this is complicated part. Squeeze around. Pusing right. dia. Pusing ya? Ah oh, pusing. Oh wow. Ah kan. No, pusing no, no. lagi. Ah pusing lagi. Ah kan. Ah panda juga ini matali. <laughs> Looks biblical, Bell. <laughs> they can fibers. Ah, so ah. those are the fibers we after. Yeah, yang ini lah. Nanti bila sudah rendam dia akan lembut. Sudah rendam, we can strip the fibers ah, out. Three, satu per satu. And in the fibers we can we can plant yeah. them mm. or bread them. Macam tiga macam dari satu. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Ah. Ini yang okay. rendam ini rendam dulu dalam kurang satu malam. Okey. Nah, Tapi ini panjang. Dalam panjang lagi bagus. Sungai lah. Ya dalam sungai lah. Memang ya, ada ya, sungai ya. jangan dalam dalam itu dalam berdi tidak berdi. Ya. ya. 
Right. Okay. All right. Come. 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 So normally it would take, in other days, our grandparents do it when they shock it, our, our late father. So normally they will shock it for weeks, mm. so that it will get soft and easy to to, to, to kill it, yeah? What? Uh, satu minggu. Satu minggu? Yeah. Wow. Satu minggu. Wow. Untuk rendam ini, dalam air lah, tapi rendam agak bagus, takut dia hilang. Okay. Well, the weather is still a bit rough outside, and, um, but the work never stops. Um, this is the um, a vine, the roping vine that we soaked in the, in the river um, some few days ago. And uh, Val is now going to show me how, or what, what the next part of the process is. How do we extract the fiber uh, from this to make it into a decent uh, rope? Wow! Look at that. So the actual bark of it is it's not, okay. Not, not the bark outside. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the fibrous yeah. inside part. Yes. Wow! This the tough part. Now this is quite amazing because it exists. Yeah. It seems to be one continuous single fiber. Yeah. Like if you pull it down to a small, that's a very small piece, and it's one continuous fiber all the way along. Now this could be braided or plaited to make it into a bigger rope. Yes, yeah. it's up to you. You can use it like this. Yes, this as already. it is. And let yeah. it dry. When it dry, then it will be very, very elastic. Yeah. You make me three small pieces and I'll do a plait. Yeah. Buleka. Bule. Right. You I want to do a plaiting. Plaiting, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I want to try this. Must say to that. Hard, then it will be bigger. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna try and plait this rope, okay? So we'll see how it goes. Could be a bit of a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not very fast, so uh, it could take a while. I can start it. A few moments later. Whoa! <laughs> Hi, welcome back. And uh, for another session with um, with uh, Chef Mike. Now, just a little aside on tropical outdoor cooking, because we are in a very outdoor setting with a river behind us. Um, you have to be careful about your flies. So they will be, they're an inevitable part, inevitable part of outdoor um, cooking in the tropics. So Chef Mike, please, can you go through what we've got to cook tonight? Because I can see some Wild mushroom here. Wild mushrooms. Right. We're going to do uh, chicken soup with wild mushrooms. Right. With these uh, local traditional ingredients. Mm -hmm. Ginger torch, ginger, garlic, and tupus. Tupus. And tapioca leaves. Tapioca leaves, yeah. And yes. tupus to me looks like a kind of wild ginger, isn't it? Yes. The very, very, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, take it away, Shall man. Start? Ah, so this time you're crushing it, not slicing it. Yeah. So you're in the pot instead of the uh, wok or the pali. This time you're doing it in the pot. In the pot, yes. You're, you're preparing for a soup. I'm going to fry the ingredients huh? instead of just throw everything in, into the water. Right. Just to fry, just to yeah. bring out the, the essence. All the flavors, yeah. The flavors yeah. out, and then water. Yeah, yeah. Slice ginger. Aha. 
Mm -hmm. Now these are two different types of um, wild mushroom. Yes. And one of the things I learned from Val when we were looking and gathering for mushrooms is the less attractive looking ones are the edible ones. The ones that look really white and nice yeah. and pretty, don't touch them. Yeah, don't touch them. <laughs> so that was something I learned. Okay. See. So, so this in. Wild mushroom in. Mm -hmm. Sort of caramelizes, I think. Yeah. yeah. So you just want the tips taken off, yes. and you don't want the stalks. Yeah. Yeah. So this is already already the youngest part of the leaf, isn't it? Yeah, the top. top yeah, because I can yeah. see by the color. It's actually very, very, um, a very light green. Tapioca leaves are usually very, very green, the older ones. Yes. So you cannot eat them. You can't eat them. Yeah. Only the tips. Oh, not very good, this. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do with the tupus? Are we going to put it at, 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 um, at the ending? Oh, right at the end. OK. Yeah. okay. Water. Huh. About half liter. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wait for it to boil, then slow down the fire, and let okay. it simmer slowly. So simmer. bring it to boil and then simmer. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So you now got it at a simmer. Wait yeah. to the boil. It's simmer. been simmering for 15 minutes now. It smells fantastic already. Yes. Now we're gonna add in the the pus. The pus, so you chop it finely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pus in. So you're gonna crush it a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we just wait for another another 15 minutes. That looks amazing, Mike. Yes. Wow. Yeah, look at the soup. Yeah. 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 Now we're gonna season it. Mm-hmm. We'll start with one. One teaspoon of white pepper. Fantastic. Well, this was the soup prepared by uh, Chef Mike. Yeah. So I'll let you, I'll let you try first. Tell yeah. me what you think. Yeah. Let me try this uh, mushroom first. Very nice. I hope you don't see it. I, don't, I hope you don't look at me then. Nobody look at me, then I will finish the whole thing. <laughs> I will let you finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What yeah. did we call this one again? What was the name? It's just, just uh, jelly mushroom. Mm. If in Bidayo, we call it Kulat Kabir. Kulat Kabir. Mmm. Mm. Oh, Bandung. Nice. Fantastic. See you again. It's like my grandma yeah. cooking. Eh? Your grandma? Yes. Excellent. You want to cut this? It's very nice. Yeah. I like the bottle super.